Okay, question number three from P1 practice paper B, International A level. The diagram shows a sector OPQ of a circle with center O and radius R. The angle POQ is in theta radians. It's in radians, it's very important and that we take that into account. And the perimeter of the sector is 20 centimeters. Show that theta is 20 over R minus two. Okay, so they've given us a piece of information that's very important and um, that the perimeter is 20 centimeters. And they've told us that theta is in radians. Okay, now the perimeter of a shape is the length of the outline of the shape, what encloses that shape, okay? So this shape is enclosed by this radius and this radius here, and also by this arc, okay, I'll call it L, the length of this arc here, PQ, the arc PQ. And I know that the length of an arc is given by the formula R times theta, if theta is measured in radians. Okay, if theta is measured in radians, it's in that, this nice simple formula over here. And we know that it's measured in radians because they told us. So we can say that the perimeter of the shape is equal to R plus R plus L. So you've got R plus R, which is 2R, plus L, which is the length of the arc, which we just said is R theta. So I can combine these two together. I can combine these two together and I can say that means 2R plus R theta must equal 20. That's the perimeter in terms of r and theta. And this is the perimeter in terms of what they told us it is. So we can make them equal to each other and we can now make theta the subject of this. So first we've got to get rid of this 2r. So we're going to subtract 2r from both sides. So you have 20 take away 2r. And then we divide both sides by r to be left with theta as a subject as is here. So when you divide by r, you're left with 20 divided by r minus 2r divided by r which is 2 and there we have it okay as required okay part 2 it says hence express the area of the sector in terms of r so it's saying using what you just found express the area of the sector in terms of r now the area of a sector is given by the formula a half r squared theta when the angle is in radians which it is okay so we can use the fact that the area is equal to a half r squared theta and the fact that theta is equal to 20 over r minus 2. So that's what I'm going to use my last answer. Hence means using what you've just done. So I can replace the theta in this formula by 20 over r minus 2. So you have a half times r squared times 20 divided by r minus 2. Okay, and then when I expand this, you have a half r squared times 20, that'll give you 10. Okay, the half times 20 is 10. And r squared over r will give you r. And you're gonna have a half r squared minus two. Well, a half times minus two is minus one. So you'll have minus one r squared. So the area is equal to 10 r squared, 10 r minus r squared. That's the area in terms of r, meaning a is equal to something r. No theta in there. So that's how we got rid of the theta by replacing theta with 20 over r minus 2. Okay, that's part 2. And now part 3. Part 3, it says, in the case where r equals 8, find the length of the chord PQ. Okay, now this is a question when I set this question to my students. that There, was, there were many students who didn't read the question properly, and they just assumed the question was asking you to find the length of the arc PQ. They didn't think about the difference between the arc and a chord. Okay, the question very clearly states, if we go back up here, the question very clearly states, find the length of the chord PQ, not the arc PQ. Okay, so be very careful about that. So the chord PQ, a chord is a straight line which joins together two points on the circumference of a circle. So the arc or the chord PQ here is a straight line that goes from P to Q. Okay, now it says in the case where R equals 8. Okay, where R equals 8. So we know that when R equals 8, theta is equal to 20 over 8 minus 2. Now 20 goes 8 goes into 22 times, remainder 4, so it's 2.5 
minus 2, which is equal to a half. Okay, so the angle in radians is 0.5 or a half. So this angle is 0.5 and the radius is 8. So that's 8 and that's 8. So we need to find the length of this arc. So, sorry, we need to find the, the, si the length of this line PQ, not the length of the arc. So this is part of this triangle OPQ. And in a triangle, if you know two sides and the angle between the two sides, you can use the cosine rule. You could also, as is isosceles, you could split this in half and use um, you know, trigonometry. But it's much easier for us, I think, to use the cosine rule here. So the cosine rule states a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times cosine a. So it's no good just memorizing it. In fact, they in fact give this to you in the formula sheet, but it's no good just uh, you know, quoting it without knowing how it applies. If you just quote this formula, we'll get no marks. Basically, the b and c are the two sides which form the angle, and the a is the side opposite the angle, the side you're trying to find. So we're going to have x squared equals b squared plus c squared. That's going to be h squared plus h squared minus 2 times b times c, 2 times 8 times 8, times the cosine of a half. Okay, so that will give us, that will give us the marks for this question in terms of the method marks, or the b marks, what they're called. All right, for us to, not just quoting the formula, but using the formula in with the, everything in the right place. So even if you don't quote the formula in this form, just writing this down shows you know what the formula is and you know how to apply it to this situation. And that's what the marks are for. So now what we need to do is we need to take our calculator. Why is it not moving properly? We need to take the calculator and we need to and make sure that it's in radian mode because our angle here, the half is in radians. And the calculator actually is in degree mode. So for this particular calculator, we're going to press shift and menu. 2 for angle input, or angle unit, and 2 for radians. Now you see there's an R there, it's in radian mode, and I can proceed. So I'm going to just put this in one step, the square root of h squared plus h squared minus 2 times, 2 times 8 times 8 cosine of 0.5, a half. Okay, and that should give us an answer. 3.9584 dot 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 continues on. 3.95984 and it continues on. Now, does it give us any, in the case, find the length of the chord peak? Okay, so they didn't tell us how to round it, so we can stick to 3SF. 3.96 centimeters and there's the answer for the chord pq okay so there we have it that's the answer to this question um things to be to to watch out for especially finding the chord finding the arc instead of the chord and not knowing what this means express the area in terms of r it means a equals with something r okay and that's the end of that question